We're going James Bond. Dun, 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 Hey everyone, so before the video starts, just want to let you know to click the link near the top of the description if you want some great deals on some great games and support me while you're at it. And huge thank you to them for sponsoring the shout out. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are hopping into Last Day on Earth Survival. Uh, sorry if I sound a little bit different. I'm actually in a hotel in Germany getting ready for Gamescom, but I brought along my setup so I could record uh, some of the mobile games that we're playing, which is actually really handy, including Last Day on Earth. Today, today's game plan. I want to head on over to Bunker Alpha. I want to show you guys a more efficient way. I've spent some time. I've been working a little bit, doing some research, and I think I found a better way to do the second floor. So here's some of the stuff I'm going to be bringing in. I just have, like, pretty much a shotgun that's about to break. Same with the pistol. And also a pretty much fully uh, M16 along with one of these saw blades. Just got this one for an airdrop. Uh, surprisingly enough, that was awesome. Also going to want to bring in a crowbar. That's going to be very useful. And I'm bringing in a ton of first aid kits just because I've been stockpiling them from the grind. And I also have some jerky, which heals like 20 per. Along with that, we got the full set of armor. And why don't we go ahead and begin. But before we head on too far in, I uh, wish you guys, as always, an absolutely fan for fantastic day. And hopefully... Today's video helps you guys if you are playing out or playing this and, you know, you want to go to the second floor. If you guys remember, the second floor was absolutely nutty to do. I don't know what it was about the second floor, but there was just so many zombies that we were getting pooped on. And we had to use a lot of resources. So now, hopefully, it'll be a little bit easier to do all of this. So let's head on over to Bunker Alpha. Already cleared out the first floor. There's still a little bit of loot there. So in case we run out of guns. Uh, I don't think I actually looted the armory there yet. So just in case, I can go grab that M16 and a new set of armor. But some adventure awaits us. That is for sure. In Bunker Alpha. So now that we've actually gone through it once, I know which of the rooms really aren't worth going into, which ones might be a little bit more worthwhile, that type of stuff. And I'm going to try to utilize that information and show you guys exactly which way you should be going. Uh, also, sorry if I'm a little bit more quiet. It's just because I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be as loud as I usually am in videos because I'm in a, uh, I don't know, I'm in a hotel. I'm in Germany, so it's about 1 a.m. when I'm recording this, but it's 6 p.m. back at home. So here we are. Let's start trying to get through, shall we? We're going to want to be a little bit more careful, a little bit more aware of our actions. We're not going to go rushing in Rambo style into everything. We're going to try to think a little bit more about our actions. So here we got a couple of fast fighters. Okay, these guys should go down pretty quick. We got the katana. We got that dude. And eh, whatever. We can take a little bit of damage. This isn't going to be too big of a deal. See you later, Toxic Abomination. Also, the good news is we don't have to take out the turret again, which is awesome. Or the first turret, because I learned that apparently you don't actually need to take that out. To get past because what i thought you guys will see what i'm talking about here in a bit but i thought that uh, the turret would like shoot you across the bridge but turns out nah you'll be pretty fine so that's actually pretty good news and oh we got a couple of zombies over here frenzy giant couple abominations i think the game plan is going to be take out the abominations first i do want to save the saw blade mace here but for now let's try to hop into this see if this maybe has a little bit of loot for us Okay, it, it's always weird. The first time I try to loot it, this the same thing happened the last time we were in Bunker Bravo. Or not Bunker Bravo, Bunker Alpha. Uh, that's just some food and stuff. I think I'll pass. What I want to do right now, and what's going to be really important for us, is to try to get a sneak attack hit in on the Frenzy Giant. We're using the Saw Blade too, which makes things a little bit... Woo! Woo! That almost ended poorly. Almost ended very poorly! Alright, alright. That may have not been the best way to take it out, but whatever. I'm going to take out the remainder of you people. Ugh. Yeah, just put that on auto. Frenzy Giant's being a little bit slower to move in. I'm going to switch over the Katana. Uh, yeah, Frenzy Giant, he's still coming. Okay, well, we're going to try to take him out. I'm going to use up the rest of my pistol. Probably as the first priority. Actually, no, maybe I'll save the pistol in case we have to shoot out a turret. I'll try to use the shotgun first. After all, shotgun rain is perfectly built for taking out Frenzy Giants like this. See you later, Frenzy Giant. And I'll finish him off with the pistol. Try to save a couple of those last slugs. All right. And we've cleared out of that, took a couple bullets, maybe could have, you know what would have been a better way of doing that is probably drawing in the Toxic Abominations first. I kind of messed that up, but that's okay. We're here now, and that's what matters. I also have the beef jerky here. I only have so much, though. Definitely could have brought more. I also did bring uh, these three things here. I think we need these three to open something up on this floor. So here's the important thing this time. That turret over there... We are going to let that turret survive. Also, was there an update or something? Because the turrets only have 250 health now. They used to have way more than that, so I don't know. But we're going to let those guys survive. And there's going to be a doorway here that we're going to be interested in opening. There's going to be some toxic spitters who are going to be douche nozzles when they attack us. But this shouldn't be too hard. Just same tactics. There might be a frenzy giant there, but regardless of what there is or what there isn't, 
I know that there's these guys. So I'm going to try to run away in case there's a frenzy giant just so we can create some separation and try to take things out one by one. I think there's a frenzy giant coming. Ah, oh, shucks. All right. Well, there is also a little nifty trick that I might try to capitalize that I want to show you guys. So in situations like this where there's a lot of these slower guys, what you can actually do is go back to the floor before this, for example, and then go here. And so, like, we're just going to pretty much go back to floor one. Then we're going to go back to floor two. What that ends up doing is it ends up resetting them. So since we cleared out all the annoying zombies, which would have caught whiff of us the first time, if we were going to try to sneak up on them, they're not going to be around anymore. So this is a super... Oh my god, that was loud. This is a super good tactic when it comes to trying to get in sneak attacks on some zombies. Can I get into this? Hello? Trying to get in some sneak attacks on some of the tougher zombies like Frenzy Giants and whatnot. Because since Frenzy Giants are so slow, you can take out all of his friends if he has any friends do this and then as long as he's not facing towards us which he shouldn't be we can head back to his floor only he will remain out of that group and we'll be able to take him out without having to use as many bolts because think about it like the saw blade what does this do 55 damage times three for the sneak attack 165 that's like eight shots with the pistol two and a half shots with the shotgun i don't know about you guys that adds up for sure and just in case this goes poorly i have the saw blade mace last time i remember i was trying to use the oh fuck it okay okay we got out of there alive but i remember last time i was trying to use the uh stupid sledgehammer do not use the sledgehammer when attempting to take out one of these guys <laughs> well there goes that that's all right we got the pistol we could go ahead and utilize and we cleared out this section pretty nicely all we used was the rest of that shotgun which there wasn't a lot of but here there's also going to be some friends we're going to try to utilize a similar tactic in terms of melee though Ooh. I don't have a melee weapon. I'm gonna try to cop one real quick. All right, we got the melee weapon. We are low on jerky, so I might actually use the first aid kits here instead in case things get pretty hectic. But we're gonna open the door. We're gonna try to lure in our toxic spitter friends. Hello, spitters. There they are. All right, they're coming. We're gonna try to create that separation because as soon as we, as soon as we piss off a couple of them, the the rest of them get super mad. But you know what I love too that they don't spit when we're underground. It makes things a whole lot easier. But I think there's gonna be a frenzy giant coming here shortly yeah there he is he's coming and we can utilize a similar tactic head on back go to the elevator and he should be faced away which means we should be able to get in that sneak attack and then from there we can use our pistol or one of these so as you guys can like already this is going a whole lot smoother than before <laughs> if you guys saw that first video of us trying to take floor two we blew through so many guns but now that we know which rooms are worth going into which ones aren't really it's going to be a lot easier, and especially when you can maximize the amount of damage you can do. This floor might actually become worthwhile to do. Because if you guys, using the amount of stuff that we used in the last video, definitely would not be worth it, in my opinion. But as is, you could definitely get some good stuff. Especially since the gas tank can only be found on the second floor. We still lucked out so hard when we found that right away. And uh, also engine parts. I think I need like six more to try and finish up the, um, whatchamacall. I need six more right now. I found one on the floor before this, but I do need six more to finish up the chopper. And I really want to finish up that chopper. That thing has me so excited. I want it. I need it. I need it. But, you know what else I need? I got to hit this guy in the face. I haven't hit someone in the face in a while. I'm craving it. Um, so, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Ow, ow, wow. That did a ton of damage. All right, we might want to try and run past that. Uh... He might catch a whiff of us anyway. Oh, no, no, no. Missed time that. Ow! Still did five damage to me for reals? Hiya! Okay, I don't think he caught a whiff of us yet. I don't think he's going to see us. But I do want to play this very carefully. Just in case. I also want to time it a little bit nicer with the gas. Because we're going to have to run straight through that. Alright, the gas is pretty good. <gasps> run! Oh, perfect timing. Look at that. Perfect timing. Now, we could, if we really wanted to, if you really wanted to be conservative, you could actually... I'm not going to do it for the purposes of this video taking 57 years if I did. But what you could do is just keep on repeating this and keep on doing sneak attacks. So, if you have a little bit of time to spare, but not so much in terms of weapons to spare, like I said, you could just keep on repeating this process and getting sneak attacks on the frenzied giants. And realistically, the only gun you would need would be... Well, if you're not using it on the Frenzy Giants, I think the only time you would need the gun would be to take out a turret. Now, there is another Frenzy Giant, I'm pretty sure, up here, so we do need to be careful. 
Yeah, he's gonna be... Well, is this a frenzy giant or is it just like an abomination, maybe? No, nope, that's another giant. Hello, mine friends. Ooh! Haul booty, haul booty. All right, let's try to use up the rest of this pistol. What up, frenzy giant? You enjoying this lead? I think he is. I think lead is a delicious and nutritious part of a balanced breakfast. Oh, of course that happened. Well, the good news is we could actually go in. He has enough health for us to finish him off, but he did get that hit in on us, which sucks. But he's got like 35. Uh, the katana does 35, right? I think it does. All right. Well, YOLO. Oh, 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 oh. Did just 35. I always get the katana and the machete mixed up. One does 30, one does 35. If you do it in the wrong order, things are not looking good for you. Now, here's... Uh, so, there's this turret up here. Technically speaking, you don't need to kill it. You could just run past it if you want to survive the onslaught. But, I don't want to have to deal with it. And I'm going to be running through this parts... A good amount of time so instead what I'm gonna plan on doing here is try to take out the turret from afar using this m16 there you go if I can lock on to it and that's really nice I don't know I guess that they they had to have lowered the turret health because it was definitely higher before but regardless that thing's down hey we got a level up too and we got a couple of things up here that we got to deal with but it doesn't look like the frenzy giant it shouldn't aggro onto us Ooh, two rubber parts oh hell yeah but the frenzy giant shouldn't aggro onto us but even if he does, we can still run like hell. We still have a couple of these. Not too many more Frenzy Giants. I want to save this one specifically for as many Frenzy Giants as possible. But for now, let's get a hit in on him. All right, let's run a little bit. Let's run a little bit. Frenzy Giant didn't notice us. So that's good. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, ran the wrong way. Definitely ran the wrong way. Uh, take the med kit. Okay. I did run a little bit too far. That's just because I realized I made a boo-boo a little bit too far in. I was a little too deep. Ever since I ran to that turret, they made me panic. But okay, this is better. We can go do the tactic that I was talking about on our friend. He hasn't aggroed us, I don't think. That turret did, though, which is annoying. He got a couple of good shots in on us. But this guy, this guy right here, he should be able to withstand a little something. Now, actually, do we even need to attack him? We might be able, just barely... Uh, I'm gonna try it for science. Nope, nope. All right, science was wrong. Science was wrong. Uh, I guess we'll just finish him off with the M16. What a frenzy giant! Sorry, I ain't got the shotgun rain to bless your face with. For now, you gotta, you just gotta survive the rifle rain. Not as good as shotgun rain. I understand. Trust me, I'm the messiah of shotgun rain. I didn't want to do that just as much as you did. And here's where the cro or where the crowbar comes in super handy. You're gonna want to utilize it right about here. Because if you go in through this route, there's also this this room here. You don't want to go into that room if you can avoid it. But if you have the crowbar, you can bust straight through this thing. It's going to take a couple hits. There you go. And actually, it looks like it doesn't use up all of the crowbar. It uses up maybe like half of it or something. And you can actually get a nifty little sneak attack in on them too. So I'm going to finish off the toxic spitter. Oh, one hit. And all we got to do is take out the frenzy giant. And we're going to be about halfway through already. So already, what have we used? Not as much as last time. Probably significantly less. Here, there's a terminal we can use. I think there had to be an update, because the terminals, even on the first floor, I was using the terminal, and I didn't have to repair it. And definitely, because the turrets, it just seems like a couple of things maybe got easier. I don't know, but then we can open up this door. There's going to be a couple of toxic spitters we can deal with. But look at all those red dots at the bottom of that room. By taking this route, which we didn't even do last time, we didn't have the necessary things, like, I need clothes. Like, last time we went through this room, so we didn't have the crowbar, and we had to deal with a ton of bad dudes down there. And they're, like, tougher bad guys, too. So, I don't know, I feel like doing it this way is definitely gonna save us a little bit of time. And we got a couple more toxic spitters. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, he caught whiff of us. That's okay. These guys aren't the worst things, especially if you have some of your military gear. And if you just got done finishing looting the first floor, you should have a full set of that along with the M16. And honestly, that should be almost, if not enough, to completely loot this floor on your own. Just using the stuff that you get from the floor before this. Uh, I'm not going to take any of that, though. Sorry. Hard pass on me for that. Now we got to be a little bit sneaky deaky again. We can see someone up ahead. Who's this going to be? Another frenzy giant? Mm. Our favorite, man. Our favorite. Okay. We gotta do some good damage to him, then we gotta run like hell. Again, like I said, if you got the time for it, you can just keep on resetting. It's gonna save you a hell of a lot of bullets, but it's, it's gonna t not save you. It's gonna do the opposite of saving time. If 
take a lot of time to do. It's like, hopefully... Ah, there you go. He's dead. You know what I should be doing, too, when he gets low enough? I should just finish him off. Because if you use a fast enough weapon, you don't even have to worry about him hitting you. So if we bring him down to, like, 55 or lower, I can just take him out all on my own some. And honestly, I kind of like that alternative a little bit better. All right. Speaking of better alternatives, here we can deal with the Toxic Abomination. I think I kind of messed up. What you can do is you can actually sneak attack him, which that's my fault. I totally, I, I was just too excited to slice him up, I guess. I'm, I'm feeling some sushi. Been a little bit since I had some. What you can do is if you actually sneak in here and you hug this wall, he won't aggro you. So then you can go around all the way, hit him in the butt. And if you're using the saw blade, for example, that's going to be 165 damage. That's a pretty good amount of damage. It'll be more than like halfway dead. Just like us. Look at that. <laughs> Part of the family. Ooh. Speak of the devil. This has nothing to do with family, but it makes me happy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at some of the stuff we got there. Another first aid kit on top of the ones we have. Ooh la la, but yeah, you don't need first aid kits. I was just using them because I have an abundance of them, but if you come in with like carrot stews or maybe, um, what's the other thing? Carrot stews and beef jerky. Both of those are really good at their respective things. And I can open this thing up. There's a frenzy giant that we have to deal with, unfortunately, as is tradition. He hasn't caught a whiff of us yet, and he won't catch a whiff of us. And we can get the first sneak attack in, and then we run like hell. And then we just gotta finish him off. Our M16 might break on him, but to hell with it. It's for a good cause. A dead zombie is a good zombie. There we go. And then we'll finish him off with... He's got 35, right? Yeah. Katana! Ooh. He was winding up. Did you see that? He was going to hit us with a haymaker. That would have been really bad because we're not at full health. That is the only way you can withstand that man, pretty much. You need full health. And I like these crates, too. These crates can have rubber parts sometimes if you're lucky. And I'm feeling lucky. All right, I'm not a lucky man. That's okay. I'll probably come back and get... Eh, I mean, I'll just pick it up now. All right, now here, this is going to be the key component to doing... To being able to get past this floor and saving a ton of trouble. This disables that thing down there. Once that's disabled, this is going to take some balls. <laughs> Specifically, some big balls. So what I recommend you do is... Listen, if you die... Put, put your stuff away. That's what I'm recommending you do. You put your stuff away. I might keep these. Nah, I, th I think I need those three to repair something. But put your stuff away. And what you can actually do. Oh, mama, this is going to be intense. You know what? Maybe I'll bring the gun with too. But put away some of the stuff that you don't want to lose. Ooh, that gun's about to break. I'll go get another one. All right, but this part is going to be very sneaky deaky. But if you can pull this off right, it's going to be amazing how much effort and time it can save you. So you're going to want to go past all of these. These are no good. You don't want to tussle with them because they will mess you up. You want to open this door. When this door gets opened, don't panic. Don't move. Enter sneak mode. We're going James Bond. Dun, 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 As you can see, very stressful. But if you take a proper path here and you're very careful because it's so... Oh... If you take the proper path, you can actually sneak by every single one of these zombies. And you don't have to fight any of them. If you take this path that I just took, you can go across the backs of all of them. And that means they're not going to attack you. And if they don't attack you, that means you don't have to worry about killing them. If you don't have to worry about killing them, that means life is going to be so much easier. And then you get here... You open it, and you're going to have a couple of toxic spitters and stuff to deal with. I think there might also be, unfortunately, don't quote me on this, there might be... Oh, it's not a Frenzy Giant. That's okay. I'm happy to take care of these guys. As long as I don't have to take care of the other guys in the other room. That's where the Frenzy Giants are. That's where things are going to get a little bit uglier. All right, get on over here. I don't even want to fight him close to those guys for the risk of some of them running over here. There we go. Let's get those heals in, and boom, shakalaka. We got past probably the most deadly room in this floor. Generator recharge. Don't have to worry about that yet. But what we do have to worry about is the next room. And the next room is going to have our classic friend, the Frenzy Giant, who we cannot really sneak up. I mean, no, 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 no. Oh, no, he caught a whiff of us. Okay. And here's a nifty little trick that you can do. If you time this right, what you can do is actually get him stuck on the generator. You want to get him all the way here in the back, right? Just want to... Oh, God, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Ugh. Ugh. All right. So if you do this right, what you can do is you have just enough time to activate this. That'll make the door openable. Then you can haul booty out of the door. 
And then once you haul booty out of the door, oh, just want to run past these guys. Because this door is now open. You can he head back to the elevator. Go to the elevator. Nope. Uh, he's not going to the elevator. Okay, that's okay. I didn't want to go to the elevator anyway. Elevator is overrated. But we can take care of these three right here, which actually it kind of makes sense to take care of these guys now as long as the frenzied giant isn't bothering you later on. All right. Oh, no. My weapon broke. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Any other melee weapons here? No, nope, because I put them away. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, no. I have made a boo-boo. Uh, is the frenzy giant going to be hunting us down here? Yes, he is. Well, I might try to do, like, an entire lap around here. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. I was able to evade them somehow. But what you want to do is after you get that frenzy giant aggroed, you don't even want to worry about him. You're done worrying about him because there's no reason to worry about him. You got that main doorway open. So what that means is you can access this elevator super, super easily. And that means... We're still going to have to take care of those other guys. It does suck that my weapon broke because taking care of them would have been a lot easier. But after that, you can head on back down. And as you can see, this door right here should still be plenty open. And the Frenzy Giant is too far away to even bother you guys, which is perfect. So what this means is you don't even have to worry about that Frenzy Giant. That's a huge part of what makes, like, that. that's the biggest part, I feel like, of making this floor worthwhile. Is just, you have to find out how to avoid as many Frenzy Giants as possible because they suck. And now look at it. What did we go through? We went through, well, I think I put my M16 and a couple things away. I'm going to have to grab those. I'll grab those later. We also do have this room that we do have to take care of. But you know what I'm going to try to use to take care of it? I'm going to use some of the stuff out of this box. I think you can find a gun in here or something, right? If not, we can take out the rest of those guys in there. There might be one frenzied giant, but there is a way where you can avoid him as well. You just got to take out everything else first. Another engine part. Hell yes, yeah, some aluminum bars. Okay. This is a good start. Now, I can't wait to see whatever the hell's in the other door. But, like I was saying, what you're going to want to do is aggro some of these fellas. Hello, fellas. Hello. Okay, you're going to want to aggro them. And again... You want to go far away, so you got plenty of distance between you and the Frenzy Giant. You and the Frenzy Giant, he's enemy number one. Then you're just going to want to auto these guys, take them out. They might do a little bit of damage, but as long as you can keep on healing, take them out in a timely matter, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Hey, look at that. Free level up too. Perfect time. Oh my god. There really are a lot of toxic spitters, but they're just toxic spitters if you have the right armor. They're not the deadliest things in the world. Not Nothing to be super scared of. Now, where is our Frenzy Giant friend? Okay, he's coming here. So what we can do now, well, I'm actually a little bit thirsty, so I might as well use the vending machine. Uh, what we can try to do here is kite a little bit, run back around, we'll access the elevator again. So all I gotta do is get him on a fast track to not hitting me. Oh yeah! Oh! Nice, 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 nice. Then we're gonna do the elevator trick again. And one elevator trick later, we can head over here. We can access what's in there. We already did that. Our friend, the Frenzy Giant, is still over there. The Friendly Frenzy. But here's the thing, if we loot this from this side, Mr. Frenzy Giant doesn't fully realize that we're kind of stealing his stuff. Which is very good for us, because, ooh, Glock 17 with that, some weapon parts, I will take those. Kind of sad we didn't get the gas mask. Uh, anything to learn from here? No, I already learned that the first time. If you do get the gas mask from this, I think you might only get that from your first run. But uh, just a reminder, you can head on over here and follow that doorway to two weapons lockers. But... Other than that, I think we've accessed pretty much... I mean, these two boxes at the end have the best loot in the entire floor. And the other ones are just too much of a hassle to really be worth it. But that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the best ways to do this. It's a combination of taking out everything that isn't a Frenzy Giant, doing the elevator trick, and sneak attacks on Frenzy Giants. And like I said, if you have the time, you technically don't even... Well, you, you need, like... You need the M16 from the previous floor to take out one turret technically i think you could even run past the turret if you really wanted to but don't quote me on that so one to maybe take out the turret but after that if you have the time and you have enough elevator tricks you won't need like you'll you'll be fine you'll be 100 percent fine just uh, doing sneak attacks on frenzy giants doing 165 damage a pop that means after like three sneak attacks that'll he'll almost be dead so you just finish him off with like a katana or something real quick and boom like I said, they're a little bit more time consuming, so weapons do make that a little bit easier, a little bit faster. And like I said, only fight the frenzy giants that you have to. Only the ones that are directly in your path. Now I'm just going back here because there were a couple things that I left behind that I did not want to leave behind. I just did them for the time being, but that right there is one of the best methods 
I'm getting through Bunker Alpha level two. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Let me know if there is a better way in your guys' opinion. Let me know if there's any improvements potentially where I could, you know, make this even easier, anything unnecessary that I did. Because at the end of the day, I, I love sharing these videos. I love being helpful for you guys. I love having fun. But if you guys have, this is our series, okay? So if you guys have any tips, any tricks to make anything better, please let me know. Look through the comments, like anything that's helpful and all that. I appreciate that a ton. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for me. For now, I need to go probably do a couple of, I think like one more trip back home to get everything safe and sound back. And after that, the loot will balloon. And we have two new engine parts, so I think I only need five more engine parts. And I'll have enough. But other than that, it's going to wrap up me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.